All right, guys, welcome in our another video from Meet and Greet at Mr. Olympia 2020 in Orlando. In this video, we are going to ask the athletes what does Mr. Olympia actually mean to them. So let's find out. So Mr. Olympia means much more than a lot of people can even imagine because since I was very young, I actually learned the history of the sport. I know what it is. It's not just a title, but it's much more than that. When you love what you do, when you have a passion and you understand what it takes to be where we are today, it's just speechless, you know. I cannot tell, I cannot put in words what it means for me to be here today. You know, it's an honor, it's a privilege, it's just like everything that I, I always work for. Today, it's like a dream coming true. So I just hope to go on stage and make everybody proud because I worked very hard to be here today. To me, the Mr. Olympia competition, the whole Olympia weekend, is really just um, the celebration of the sport of bodybuilding. Um, you get all the categories, the best athletes um, in the world to come and compete for the title of the world champion. So it's a huge honor and it's always a very humbling experience to be part of this weekend. So Mr. Olympia means, as I have been told already, a uh, world to me because this even this everything I have been dreaming and working since very, very long time. So Mr. Olympia means to me the undying hard work, dedication that it takes to get to the Olympia stage and being amongst the best athletes in the world. It's just an absolute pleasure. It's so, so, so monumental for all of us athletes. You know, it is the <laughs> biggest, the most prestigious event of the year. Everyone looks forward to this. It, it, it's the Olympics of bodybuilding, of fitness, but it's more than just a title. It's more than a trophy. You are the ambassador, the representation of bikini for everyone across the globe, you know? Um, that's really special. Not only that, but for me, striving year after year, um, would prove and it would be a voice for people who don't believe in themselves and who give up prematurely uh, you know for their goals but it you know I have to come back year after year um, to you know go after my ambitions my aspirations and winning Mr. Olympia for the bikini division is like my ultimate goal and that would just prove to people that if you keep going if you never give up you'll hey. get what you're sought about. Mr. Olympia for me is just, it's just a dream really. I can't say much more than that because it's something that I've always strived for. I've always dreamed to be here and to be here for the third year in a row is just a dream come true and it's surreal to me to be up here with people that I've idolized, I looked up to and to get to share the stage and to compete next to them is just, it's a dream. That's all I can say. It's, it's a dream and it's just something that the highest level of our sport is such a prestigious stage to step on that we all work so hard, each and every one of us to qualify that, you know, it's just, I'm grateful to be here and grateful that I can be up on the stage with all these amazing women, so. So, competing at the Mr. Olympia really means kind of like the world to me, to be honest. When I was a kid, um, my parents got me into bodybuilding because they wanted to get into bodybuilding. They actually never competed. And a long time ago, there was only bodybuilding and fitness at the Mr. Olympia. And my mom had the, the, the like, the, the VHS tapes. And I'd watch fitness and I did gymnastics and dance and I thought it was super cool and it just, it's honestly been a passion for me since I'm a kid. So I was one of the youngest people to ever get their pro card when I was 17, I earned my pro card and this has been a dream to come to the Mr. Olympia. That's really the overall goal was to be Miss Olympia and believe it or not my parents were moving out of their house they found an old t-shirt that I had gotten made that said when I grow up I want to be Miss Olympia. <laughs> so this is a dream come true for me. I mean. Not yet, I haven't won yet, but maybe, we don't know. But it really is a dream come true just to step on the Olympia stage. So it means everything to me, really. Mr. Olympia means to me, this is the ultimate, the best of the best in the world, and to be part of it is a huge honor. I'm so happy to be here, and of course we get to celebrate with a crazy year in 2020. It's finally happening, so for me, it means the world to be a part of the biggest show of the year. Mr. Olympia means oh, to me, Wow, that's a, that's a big one. I mean, it's a dream 
I've always, uh, ever since I started competing, you know, this is the Super Bowl of, of bodybuilding. And uh, to be here is a surreal feeling. I've yet to, uh, amen. I've yet to, uh, oh my God, we're doing an interview, brother. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, so I was on something there, and uh, now I got interrupted, but anyways, it was a, it's a surreal feeling. Um, I've yet to, you know, step on the stage with these guys that I've looked up to for a very long time, um, but I will do it tomorrow, and uh, I can be more excited about it. Um, I did the Olympia in 2018, but in the classic division, and that was, uh, you know, a dream of mine too as well. Uh, something that I, I love the look of the classic division, um, but after, you know, competing in it, I wanted, I knew that I wanted to be up with the big guys, and uh, so I just went back to work, added some more muscle, and uh, this year we were able to make it happen, and I'm super excited. It means uh, the top of uh, everything in bodybuilding, of course, because it's, it's the top, but there is nothing above Mr. Olympia, and uh, to get to Mr. Olympia, it's, uh, it's hard work, it's, uh, it's not easy, you, you need to work many many years and even if you do most of uh, bodybuilders are not able to do it so you know it's top level it's a great opportunity to be on the world's biggest stage and as a woman's bodybuilder i'm very grateful i'm very excited to be back on stage you know this is the return of the miss olympia and I've been on the Olympia stage before three times. So when it got taken out of the Olympia uh, in 2014, like we were all devastated. Like it was like a dream just shattered. Like it's a dream that I've had, you know, since I picked up a dumbbell when I was a teenager, I wanted to win the Miss Olympia. And then one day they said, oh, that won't be any Miss Olympia anymore for women's bodybuilders. And that was, uh, yeah, the last one is two, was in 2014 and then in 15, uh, Jake Wood started the Rising Phoenix, which was sort of like a um, a takeover from the Olympia. So that one became the biggest competition in the world. And then last year in December, Jake Wood bought the Olympia. So now we have the Rising Phoenix and the Olympia, and the sport is growing like crazy at the moment. A lot of the physique girls also have been around for a while, so they're also getting bigger, and we're getting a lot of crossovers from physique. So um, the sport is doing great. Uh, the Olympia being back is amazing. I'm excited to hit the stage tomorrow and I'm ready. It uh, means the world to me. I mean, to be so Mr. Olympia, that means you're the best bodybuilder in the left, whole world. As long as you win that title every year. So I know I only won it once, but I, can, I, I always can walk in my house and see that trophy sitting in my, my mantle. And that means I was the greatest bodybuilder in the, in the whole world that year. Oh man, Mr. Olympia means a lot to me. It is definitely the most prestigious show that there is in our industry. So to be blessed enough to be able to be here, to participate, to step on stage, to be able to be in front of all these people, fans and family, it's absolutely amazing. You know, I set out on a goal myself you know, six years ago to compete as a women's physique competitor and I did that. So to be able to say I wanted to do something and I stuck to it all the way through the end, it means everything to me and a lot of people that I know. And I think it's a dream come true. I think it's the most thing of passion. Like um, everybody that starting competing, like has this, has this dream, you know, to be here, to be part of this. Well, to me, Mr. Olympia, it's um, it's the Super Bowl of bodybuilding. It's um, it's the number one, it's the number one title that you can hold in all bodybuilding. So to me, that's the Super Bowl of bodybuilding. To to be here is to be among the best. So to me, just being here and participating means everything to me, and that's something that a lot of us athletes work for throughout the whole year just to be qualified and to make it to, to the 
to the big show, which is the Olympia. So that means everything to any competing athlete that's a bodybuilder. So the Olympia has been a huge part of my life ever since I've been like a little girl, you know, watching the shows online and actually coming and seeing the show. And now being here and winning first place in the fitness division, I'm just over the moon. And I'm so thankful for the Olympia and giving all of these athletes such an amazing opportunity to compete here. You know, being at the Mr. Olympia is a privilege. You know, you're, you're, you're there with uh, wow. some of the best in the world, with the best in the world, competing with all that history. Guys like Arnold, Franco, Frank Zane, you know, who've come before us, and you're just honoring that memory by getting on stage and, and doing your best and performing for the fans. Oh, it means a lot. Uh, I started already when I was like 15 years old to admire all the big girls and the guys and at that time they, they showed it on TV and I recorded everything <laughs> so I've been following it for so many years and um, then when I took away the female bodybuilding from Miss Olympia that was devastating so we are so happy that we're back Jesus, guys, finally somebody smiling in the video. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. What? People are not smiling? No. <laughs> they should be smiling. They're at the Olympia. I gotcha.